Hey everyone, Kibler here with both some thoughts on the recent patch and the changes that were made, as well as a new deck and some gameplay for you all. So let's start off with the former. Uh, the patch went live yesterday when you're watching this, today for me recording this, uh, and really had all of the major nerfs that at least I thought were really important for them to hit. Uh, in my video a couple weeks ago, I talked about this and talked about how I feel like the uh, the most important things for them to hit were Wild Panol and the Demon Hunter quest. And Wild Panol got changed in precisely the way that I was hoping, removing the interaction with Maestra and making it so that it only discounts off of non-rogue class cards that are put into your hand. Uh, and the, the Demon Hunter quest got two additional cards added to the first step in order to actually get to the, uh, the stage complete, which can interestingly actually make the, uh, the card more powerful in some contexts when you're actually drawing a bunch more cards and, and reducing more things. Um, but also, uh, you know, generally speaking, will be a major nerf to the ease of completing it and make the deck much, much weaker in the, the overall context of everything. That said, I, you know, I feel like there, the other nerfs were also pretty important. We saw Shock Spitter taken down a notch again with its uh, cost increased to four, turned into a three, three. Glacial Advance got hit, which uh, wasn't really necessarily one of the, the cards that was on a lot of people's radar, but Frost Death Knight with the nerfs to the other classes Definitely something that uh, was poised to potentially be an oppressive force. Uh, and then Astalor uh, getting hit uh, both in terms of upping the mana thirst uh, level of its first couple stages, as well as uh, reducing the damage in the, the final stage. So I think that mostly makes it so that it is not just a, you know, always play card in basically every deck because it's no longer quite as good for tempo because you can't get the two damage until turn five. And it does a bit less damage at the end of the game, takes a bit longer to get online uh, in order to uh, gain the armor, keep yourself alive. So just kind of a, a couple notches here and there. I expect it will still be a good card, uh, but not nearly as, uh, as, powerful as it was before in most of these contexts, especially alongside Shadow Step for the, the early damage that you get off of it uh, with the first stage. Uh, a bunch of buffs. I'm not going to go into all the buffs, but I do want to talk a little bit about the cards that were buffed that I'm playing in the deck today. Uh, today I wanted to play kind of a, a random nonsense go style deck. Uh, I tried a little bit uh, with decks with Vast Wisdom and Energy Shaper, uh, and Ramath prior to uh, this recent patch in the buffs, and they were just too clunky. They just didn't really work very well in terms of actually having any kind of reasonable mana efficiency, playing Vast Wisdom on turn three or Energy Shaper on turn four, just really left you in an awkward position where you were spending too many resources to kind of set up. But with Vast Wisdom going to two and Energy Shaper going to three, you actually have a, you have a potential even curve of Vast Wisdom into Energy Shaper to you know, get more cards to kind of upgrade off of that. Um, as well as some synergies that end up working out very well, like Submerged Space Rock is an interesting card that I tried in some of the later versions of the deck that I played. So it won't necessarily be in every deck that you see uh, in this video, but being able to have your Submerged Space Rock, it dies if your opponent, uh, or rather if you don't play those cards that turn, you can just use the uh, the Energy Shaper to turn them into things that you can use in the future. Uh, and you know, it gives you a lot of flexibility. I feel like this deck uh, you know, really is about kind of just finding the, the the diamonds in the rough, finding the pearls in, you know, the, the kind of nonsense that you end up with with all the various discover effects, and in particular, the, the random cards that you get from Energy Shaper, figuring out ways to make them work is really the kind of puzzle that I find really satisfying in Hearthstone. And, you know, people may say, oh, it's all all randomness, all RNG, yada, yada. But I think that a lot of the, the skill in uh, a game like Hearthstone comes from being able to adapt to situations that you don't regularly find yourselves in. You know, just sort of doing the exact same thing with a deck like, say, a, you know, Combo Demon Hunter, obviously, yes, a very complicated deck to play, uh, but it isn't nearly as fun or necessarily, it's a different kind of skill, right? It's not necessarily more skilled. It's the skill of, hey, I have figured out this pattern and know all of these various breakpoints, not like I am adapting to every unique game on the fly. And that's the kind of challenge that I really enjoy in Hearthstone. And that's why this deck is one that I had a ton of fun with, and I hope you do too. So enjoy. All right. Um, hmm. We're going to try this. I was going to blame Ellie for the back for the garage door. No. Ellie, that wasn't you. You didn't do anything to the garage door. A trog? No! A smidge of this? A pinch of that. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Pyroradians. Everyone knows Oko the Trickster, it's true. No, you just like the mage quest? Hmm? I have no idea. Wrong ingredient! Where you followed? Paladin secret. Hmm. What do I think? Wrong ingredient. Noble sacrifice. Okay. I'm just gonna vast wisdom. We'll take a hot streak to make the next thing free. I think it's it's not in the normal spot. Oh, it's it's literally right here. Yep. Yeah, here you go. How could you do that for poor Broad? Listen. He brought it upon himself. Shaping up nicely. Whoa, hey! I like it, I like it. You're one off with, with the deep breath. Because you'd have to coin. Let's bell coiler. It looks like they just managed to get it open. Did it somehow? I'm sp Whoa! Proving grounds. Now that's the good stuff. Oh. Hmm. All right. I will just deep breath this. Pitch in the face. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that explains the Proving Grounds. So they have first flame, second flame, Proving Grounds probably in hand. I'm gonna coin the Ashara. We have plotted long enough. Now we run. My, expect my expectation is that they, they played the Proving Grounds in order to be able to fuel the Savara. A smidge of this? A pinch of that. Well, they were able to open the garage door at least, so that's that's movement in the right direction. Olivia's talking to the like tech slash repair guy or whatever. Whoa. Uh. Okay. That was a choice. Huh. Okay. Discovery. I'm just gonna get him. Alright. Uh, Ultra Valley expansion will go to wild at the release of the next major expansion, yes. Uh huh. So we have nine, ten. Uh, uh, so don't want to just blast them for all this while it's free. I guess let's, yeah. Free, free, free. I mean, it's gonna stay free, I guess. Order lull. Go. Watch the first episode of Commander at Home. I love it. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. We are very, very happy with how it. Uh, ooh. <laughs> the Savara into Proving Grounds. <laughs> yeah. My opponent's spells they hit off the Energy Shaper. That's one of the issues with Energy Shaper, right? That was the second Proving Grounds. I assume it was the same one, but. Energy Shaper can be, uh, 
a little awkward, that's for sure. <laughs> Shivering Swordsman can also let us turbo out Snowman, which is actually kind of sick. Because Snowman is, is our most expensive card actually in our deck, other than Sunwell. I actually kind of like that a lot. Right, nothing else in our deck naturally costs more than two. Where you followed. as part of this. I can also coin like Rune Door, coin Ping. So this in here. I can also just get this in there. I think I'll just get this here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Animate dead. Yep. And bulk up to get two 914 Ice Hoof Protectors. Put a brand mutant in and eat them both. Oof. That's brutal. That's very brutal. So this is on Reckoning, um, Ruined Orb, and was it Vast Wisdom? This guy has two fives, actually pretty sick. Clear it with any spell. Fine, that's fine. Discovery. Hey, Chad, the twenty three months. Oh, boy. Shadow step this guy, let's go. <laughs> Blazing power, huh? What did, I what did I play? I played... What school is Fast Wisdom? It doesn't have a school, okay. Okay, a flurry's good. Do I want to just Magister here? We haven't played anything that would draw cards if we were to Magister. We've played two or three flurries, so we're most likely going to flurry rather than cold case. We will replay Reckoning or Sunwell. All right, let's do Dash. In case it replays Sunwell rather than Reckoning. Stay where you are. All right. Start with this rune orb here. I'll take this life sentence. Let's play this rune orb here. 
I'll take this siphon mana. No, I'll take first flame. Um, so I think I'm gonna life sentence this and play an objection. So this dies attacking into this. They get a scourge rager. Objection, Your Honor. Rabisi with the 16 months. Ooh, there's a Varden. Oh boy. One, two, one, two, three, four. I guess I can just play this and the first flame and clear. We can also just take the Sunwell. That's more fun. Would have been very good in combination, clearly. Uh, this can never reduce anything below one. Yeah, it's a pretty bad Sunwell. I could have flurried, I wanted Sunwell. And killing these is not really gonna win me the game. We need to actually find stuff that's doing something other than, you know, just stopping them for a turn or two. I think I'm just gonna energy shaper this. Show me show me the goods. Drain soul. Bl ooh, hold up. Bioluminance? This doesn't work with spell damage, does it? Service bell. If my calculations are correct. Blood Boil does not get, get spell damage. Curses. Okay, well, I mean, I can Blood Boil, Drain Soul, King. We could have Twisting Tethered something instead. We might just die here. I don't think we'll die. Undeath, sure. <laughs> Let's go, Big Rami. Quick Ramath. <laughs> oh, it counts. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that it counts the coin. That's kind of wild. I mean, we have Blood Boil here. Oh, Shadow Step, Shadow Step, Rami. Ah. He's not like one of the garbage things that stops, at least. Hmm. Okay. It will die. I have so much damage with this bioluminance. If I can just get some minions in play. Like I have fireball. Objection, Your Honor. I feel like I've just gotta be able to kill them here with luminance with luminary. We can't play the Shaper because then we lose the other cards. But like Luminary, Snowman. Sure. Like, aren't they just dead? They've got to be dead. Sure, more damage. So, we have. Uh, one, two, three, four spells we can cast. 
This is what? Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six mana, so we can't cast this as well. But we have plus three spell damage in each of them. They've just got to be dead here. Kaboom! <laughs> All right, well, that worked. Praise Energy Shaper for that one. Ha, 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 ha.